there's a felony offense known as serious injury by vehicle. If you're charged with DUI and they connect your DUI with a serious injury to another person, it could be a passenger in your car, it could be a pedestrian, it could be a person in another car, they're going to charge you with an offense that has a minimum two years and a maximum of 15 years per injury. I've had one case with seven serious injuries involved in the driver's car and the car that she hit head on on I-20. That was 105 years she was facing as a maximum penalty. And serious injury is determined by the nature of the damage to the person. Any broken bone, serious injury. Any scar that requires stitches, serious injury. Any organic brain damage, that is you're knocked out and you lose your memory, that could be serious injury. If someone loses the use of an arm or a leg, maybe you were bruised or it was damaged so badly you couldn't use it, serious injury. The definition is broadly interpreted by the courts. So if you're in a pretty bad wreck, you need to understand you should be expecting felony charges to follow that. What you should do is, until you've talked to an attorney, you should not submit to any field test, of course. You shouldn't admit consuming alcohol or drugs, of course. But you also need to not agree to take a test until you can speak to an attorney. That's a very common sense answer to a police officer if you're facing this serious charge. If they do try to get a warrant, you'll have to deal with that later, but don't ever change your mind and consent just because they say, we'll get a warrant if you don't cooperate.